everyone welcome back to my channel I have another floor workout for you you are gonna need one weight if you have one available if not just grab anything you have around your house uh, it could be a, a water bottle it could be a can of food anything like that but you'll just need one weight uh, nothing more than that also grab yourself a mat um, if you have hardwood floors and I almost just fell backwards <laughs> um, I'm coming at you from the park in Naples um, this is a canal right behind me so I hope you enjoy the view there are jumping fish all around me so you may see one while we're doing this workout anyway let's get going so come on up let's get to that mat we're gonna get ourselves in a plank position put your weight or whatever you have to the side Oops. like this and just hold stomach nice and tight it's hard to see because of my shirt but my stomach is in nice and tight gives the illusion it is not but it is nice and strong just hold make sure your butt's not sticking up you want it down but not like this you just want to be nice and straight keeping that stomach in nice and tight and just hold all right, now we're gonna alternate our knees. We're gonna bend those knees right like this. Alternating sides, come and join me. Right, left, right, left. We're just going side to side, alternating, doing both. Nice job, guys. We're gonna do four more. Four, three, two, one, and then let's just release sit back just for a quick second we're gonna go back into that plank position we are going to use our weight for the next um, exercise what we are going to do is you're going to be on your arms in a plank position your one hand is going to hold the weight we're going to go straight up like this and then we're going to go across to that opposite leg and we're just going to continue to do that swinging our arm through the plank while we're doing it so come on up get that weight available back up into a plank position make sure your feet are a little bit wide because you want to support that back and your core come on up here in plank position right like this all right grab your weight here we go we're going to go up and then we're going to go across swing it up and then across you want to swing it up to where it's next to your ear and then across to that opposite thigh or hip area all right, we're gonna do four more. Four, three, two, last one. Nice, keep holding that plank, don't come out of it. Swap hands. All right, here we go, start up and then swing across. Up and then swing across. Make sure to watch your form. You wanna make sure that butt is not up or down and there goes the fish oh it splashed me that actually felt good all right we have four more four three two last one one nice job all right you guys the next uh exercise we are going to do is we're going to get back into that plank position we're going to come up uh i'll just show you it's probably best if i just do it this way we're gonna get back up into that plank position, right like this. You're gonna bring in your knees right here, and then you're gonna go right back into that plank position. So we're gonna bring into the knees right here, and then back into that plank position. Right here, and then right back out. Now I'm gonna do it with the left leg. So left leg's gonna come in, hold, and then right back out. Left leg comes in, hold, right back out. Left leg in, hold right back out left leg in hold right back out and just hold that plank now I want you to go down into your elbows and hold hold right right here and I want you to rock forward on those toes and then rock right back forward onto those toes right back we're gonna do five of these five four three two last one one nice come on out of that great job guys all right 
with your one weight make sure you grab it we are going to lay down on our backs now we're gonna have one leg straight the opposite arm I'm trying to angle myself make sure I'm in frame opposite leg of the leg that is I mean opposite arm of the leg that is straight it's gonna go overhead holding that weight overhead right like this um, my left leg is bent my right uh, leg is straight my left arm is straight and my right arm is just right here on the floor Ooh, I am dripping of sweat all right you guys this is what we're gonna do we're gonna come up keeping your head on the floor meet that uh, leg with that arm and then go right back down you are keeping your head on the ground now I do make sure my hand does not touch the ground. It just kind of hangs out here and then comes right back up. I put it down just like I'm about to touch the ground, but then I bring it right back up to that leg, bringing it up. We have four more, four, three, two, last one one nice other side so now my right leg is going to be straight nope my left leg's going to be straight my right arm's going to be <laughs> straight and here we go bring it up making sure you have that weight in that hand if you can if the weight gets too much just stitch it put it over to the side and just make a fist with your hand if you can again make sure your arm does not your hand does not touch that ground don't put that arm all the way down. It's just a little bit and then bring it back up. Not lifting that head. Nice, we're gonna do four more. Four, three, two, last one, one. Nice job, guys. All right, ditch that weight. Just put it over to the side. We're gonna do bicycles. So. You're going to get both your hands up back of your neck. Make sure your chin is up. One leg is going to be straight. The other one is going to come up here. It's going to be bent. The opposite elbow goes to that bent one. And then you switch. I like to do bicycles nice and slow. We're going to just do this right here. We're going to do 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four three two one and then right back down grab that weight again guys we're gonna do what we just did let's start with this side left hand has that weight overhead straight this uh, foot is bent the other one is straight opposite side here we go meet them and then right back remember don't touch that ground when you bring them back down it's just a little bit off that ground and then come back up keeping that head on the ground nice and strong great all right we're gonna do four more four three two last one for this side one nice other side straight leg straight arm and here we go meet them in the middle keeping that head down stomachs in nice and tight make sure not to blow that stomach out and definitely make sure you're continuing to breathe through each exercise you don't want to hold your breath all right we have four more four three two last one one all right we're gonna do bicycles again but this time we're gonna do three and then hold so let me show you what that looks like hands behind the head so we're gonna go one two three hold and then one two three hold so you're you're holding on the third one all right you guys come and join me here we go one two three hold it one two three hold it one two three hold 
One, two, three. Hold. One, two, three. Hold. One more time. One, two, three. Hold. Nice, guys. All right. Woo. Want your arms straight upright like this and elongate that right arm. Just reaching for the sky, or the ceiling, wherever you are and relax it. Do the other side, left side, reach up and relax. Do both of them, reach them up, opening up that upper back and we release. Nice. All right, you guys, we're going to get back into that plank position. Let me fix my hair. Oh, it is a hot one today. I don't know why I keep picking 12 o'clock to do my tapes. <laughs> I am dripping of sweat. All right, you guys, we're gonna get back into that plank position. Right here, what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna just cross over to that opposite elbow with that knee. Come and join me if you haven't yet. Watch your form, keep that butt down. Make sure you're nice and straight. And do 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hold, and back up, sit back on those heels, straighten that front body, bring it forward, drop those hips down to that ground if you can, Look back with your head. I cannot do that because I have spine issues. But if you can, look up at the sky. All right, you guys, we have one more move and then we are done. All right, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to curl up on those toes right like this. I want you to lift up and we're gonna tap each side, side to side. I'm actually gonna open up my feet a little bit more because you don't want to rock. So with this move, you wanna make sure that you stay pretty still. You will naturally rock a little bit, but you wanna to try to control that. So your stomach has to be nice and tight. I'm gonna open up my feet just a little bit more to give myself a little more support. Lift up and then tap, alternating. Side to side. Here we go, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Put one leg out, bring it back in. Do the other leg, bring it back in. So we're alternating, straightening those legs. Ooh, this is a good one for the lower abs. Really engage them, make them nice and tight. One more and hold and down nice job guys sit back on your heels straighten those arms drop that head down and just relax you are done slowly come forward dropping the hip down to the ground nice all right, get on all fours. We're gonna do needle thread. You're on all fours. You, uh, This arm right here goes through, butts up. Get that ear to the ground if you can. Pretend you're like listening to something on the floor. I'm trying to listen to somebody on the bottom half. Slowly come up, needle thread the other one through. Get that ear down to the ground. Slowly come up and you guys are done. Thank you for joining me again. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on this video. Leave me a comment if you haven't subscribed yet. I hope that I uh, can win you that subscribe button. And don't forget when you do do that, to hit that bell icon that will notify you when I do new workouts. All right guys, thank you so much and here's to a healthier you. Peace out.